Good morning. It's Wednesday. Uh, I tried to make some spaghetti in the crock pot like I, uh, like I said I was going to do. I did make spaghetti. The try part was I tried to uh, film it and that didn't work out too well. So you're not going to see that. The spaghetti was good. Uh, it was real simple. I just I, I took a, a lump of frozen hamburger, threw it in the crock pot, and after a couple hours, oh excuse me, I uh, had brown hamburger, no problem. I didn't think I had to uh, to drain it because there wasn't that much grease in it, so I just left it in there. It turned out to be a mistake. I'll fix that next time. Hey, let me get this. Uh, let me get this window here. It's uh, got got some weird glare going on. Why is there that much light coming in there? Wow, that's really bad lighting. Hold on just a second. All right, there we go. That's that's kind of better, a little bit. So uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I made the spaghetti. Uh, I just I just took the uh, hamburger, threw it in there, fried it up, uh, threw in some seasonings. Which, by the way, when I'm traveling, I carry my seasonings in a season in a season pouch. I actually showed this in the video that I was that I was making with the spaghetti. And which you're not gonna see, so I'll show. I carry like my uh, my salt and pepper are in a. Uh, there are these medicine bottles that had these caps on them that are double sided. One side locks, the other side just screws into the inside of of of, of, of the like. So you can you can flip it over. And. Uh, you know, I want to show you this because it's a really cool idea. Right? Right? Just like that. And then you can take it. And basically what it is, is it's for people who, uh, if you got kids, you know, you can go childproof. And it's got this nifty little lock here that you have to push down. And and then if you're if you don't have kids and you're you're elderly and have problems taking caps off, you can turn it over and it just unscrews, right? Well, toss the second cap and you can actually just have a double-sided bottle. So here I got my, my salt and pepper, right? Here I got my, my onion. <laughs> I am really gassy today. Here I got my my onion powder and my granulated garlic, and then I got a got a spare salt because you know always use salt. Uh, yesterday, my wife picks up um, some parsley, some Italian seasoning, but yeah, I keep my my whole uh, spice cabinet. All in a nice little bag. So, I, I season up the meat, right? And uh, just put in a big old can of, of uh, Hunt's um, traditional low carb uh, tomato sauce. And it, like, as soon as I poured it in and mixed it up, it immediately turned the room into into Ma's Pizza. It's beautiful. And um, so after that all lingered for, you know, I put it on low for a couple hours just to let it simmer. And uh, that was when I learned that the meat, even though it was browned, it was good and browned all the way through, you know, it still held a lot more grease than I thought. So while it 
simmered, all that grease came out, and there was like, you know, that much grease floating on top. So I used the ladle and I, I scooped a little off the top and got rid of what I could. There was still a lot, a lot, a lot of grease in it. Uh, we use these uh, tricolor rotinis because Tammy doesn't like, um, uh, she doesn't really like spaghetti. We make what's called super spaghetti. It's, it's a little beefier, a little, a little bulkier, a little more filling. So I took the whole box of that and just chucked it in there with uh, a, can and a, a can and a half of water. It comes out of like 32 ounces, I think it was. Um, and it just has to, once you put that in there and you put the water in the pasta, it just has to simmer for like an hour. It actually turned out to be closer to an hour and 15. And uh, it came out really good. Um, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, we're probably going to do it again. As a matter of fact, um, when we go keto, you know, because we're both real heavy and we got to get rid of this weight. Um, when we go on, on a keto diet, uh, we like to make our spaghetti with vegetables instead of pasta. We just replace the pasta with like uh, squash, um, carrots, just any kind of any any kind of vegetable. Really, uh, normally we just do green beans, and it comes out really good. So I will be doing that sometime in the future. However, I'm sorry that you had to miss that video. Uh, and last night at about 10, I made this uh, breakfast concoction in, in the slow cooker. It's um, it's a pot, no, I'm, I'm sorry, crock pot tater tot casserole. And uh, we've got a bunch of it left over. We only ate about half. And all we did was we take a, a layer of, of tater tots, put them in the bottom of the crock pot, and then you put in your meats. Uh, we used uh, canned ham and bacon bits. <laughs> Supposed to use like like Canadian bacon because there's less fat in it. And then you take your uh, your cheddar cheese and sprinkle it on there, and your Parmesan cheese sprinkle it on top of that, and then you do another layer of the same thing tater tots meat uh cheeses and then once you got that you put in uh, uh 12 eggs cup of milk um what was it uh like three tablespoons of flour you you, you whisk them up in a bowl and um we just carry certain storage bowls with us like like this and I, I just put them put them put all the stuff in there and I whisked it up with a fork and you just pour it you know over the top of the of the of the two layers and it soaks down in did that went to bed uh, eight hours later was it eight or was it six Actually, I think I did seven hours and got I woke up okay and the whole room had this wonderful, sweet smell. I swear it smelled like a huddle house. It was gorgeous. So I got up and I opened the top of the, the crock pot and this beautiful, oh, you know, I can't even explain it. I, sh I should have taken a picture of it at least, but, uh, it doesn't look the same in, in the in the container that I have it in now. Um, here, let me. That's what it looks like now, but that's because you know it's it's all a crumbled up mess. Uh, all of the beautiful crust and stuff that was on on the top is now down in the bottom down in here. See, but it was it was beautiful. It had this gorgeous melty cheese with egg on top and. I'll be doing that again. I also need to find a way to do that keto. 
Uh, probably take out the tater tots and add uh, cauliflower, most likely. That's normal for keto. Um, and it does taste good. Now, let me show you what we got going on right now for tonight. Okay, you ready? Okay. Right here, right now, I'm browning up some, uh, some uh, stew beef. Uh, it's just chunks of beef. Uh, they're, they're, uh, it used to be that the cheapest meat you could buy at the, uh, at the meat counter was stew meat. Because it was just like uh, end cuts and, you know, uh, but you, you see how that looks? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Now I'm not even I'm not even gonna gonna season that because I got one of these um, McCormick packets and it's all seasoned. It's everything you need. I'm just letting this meat uh, cook and brown real good right now. And when that's done, I got some vegetables. I got some. Uh, uh, I can't even think of them right now, but I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to cut up some vegetables, throw them in there, put that in there, put it in the water, and then it'll just cook. So you'll be seeing this cook today. All right? So I'm going to sit down while this is still cooking. I'm going to watch the show I'm watching. So I woke up this morning, and uh, while I was eating my breakfast casserole, I'm gonna say it again, it was beautiful. And the room smelled like heaven. Still does, it smells, still smells great. Now it just has that added smell of cooking beef. I am so happy. Um, so I woke up this morning and I'm watch, I'm, I'm eating and I'm, I'm digging around through YouTube and I come across this, uh, this YouTube original show called Wayne. And normally I just go past these things because some of the stuff on there is really good, you know, and, but it's really YouTube-y, you know, it's, it's like, um, do I say, you know, a lot? See, now I just got over the whole, uh, I was doing this a lot. So I stopped doing that and now I'm doing, you know, and, um, I want to stop doing that. I think it'll make my videos much better. Uh, but anyway, I, I come across this this show called Wayne, and just out of sheer curiosity, I went ahead and started watching it. It's hilarious. It's not for everybody though. Uh, it's for me though. It's 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 very enjoyable. It's about a 16 year old kid who's really messed up. Uh, But it's pretty cool. If you want to check it out, it's Wayne on YouTube Originals. All right? So, I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. I am back. And I'm glad to see you stuck around. By the way, um, I'm really trying to make a go of this, uh, this YouTube thing. So, it would be really awesome if you could do me do me a solid and uh click that sub subscribe button and uh click the bell too so you can get the uh the updates that way if i'm if i got something new coming out you'll be right there to know it so beef stew right uh the meat's all done and it's got this really great uh i'm walking out the picture here it's got this really great um uh, juice that's that's uh, brewed up down in the bottom of it uh, the next thing that that it's asking for is a bunch of vegetables so I'm gonna turn you around here all right look at this would you ah it's gorgeous yeah okay I love this crock pot though, by the way. It's a, it's a uh, West Bend crock pot. And uh, it's, it's, I think it's five quart 
or more, five or six, something like that. And um, I absolutely love it because it's easy to clean for one thing, and I can cook anything in it. If I don't, if I, if I just want to do a small recipe, it's okay. You know, it'll let, it'll let me do that. Uh, if I want to do a big recipe, come on, I got enough, I got enough room here that uh, I can I can cook for like eight people. That that amount of um, all right, we just gonna take this top off. Yeah, the amount of that breakfast thing that I did. It was way too much for my wife and I. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother cutting this up into a bowl and whatnot. I'm just gonna cut it right into the right into the crock pot here. Now the package here says that I need um what is this uh five cups of vegetables. So I'm going to uh, I'm just gonna estimate. I'm gonna cut up just a bunch. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna cut the bottom off of the celery. And yes, uh, I am using a pocket knife, but this is a this is a pocket knife that my wife bought me. Uh, like 15 years ago fifteen sixteen it, it was right before we got married uh, the knife that I had at the time for work was uh, it, it, I think it got stolen actually but she was like well that's fine let's just go get you another knife and she got this she got me this really nice uh, shred uh, three blade stockman and I, I just keep it on me ever since it's uh, I don't know if you've heard of you know people carrying EDC's you know everyday carry but that's what this is for me it, it's not just my knife you know it's 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 basically the same as my uh, my, my wedding ring I would lose my wedding ring before I lose this. This goes with me literally everywhere. So, a matter of funny, funny story. I uh, I went to get in the car one time. We were going somewhere, and um, I had left my knife inside on the counter because, as you see, I use it for cooking with. I I use this for everything. Uh, I'll tell you about the what that's all about um, I left the, the knife on the counter and I got out in the car we were getting ready to leave and I noticed my wedding ring because I noticed my wedding ring I remembered my knife so I went back inside got my knife but uh yeah this has um this says uh, it's a three blade stockman and I'm gonna show you something here in a minute as you see, I got the first clip. This is called a clip blade, right? And uh, anyway, that clip blade, I use that for food prep. Any uh, anything from from spreading butter on bread to you know cutting up veggies, cutting up meat. I'll be sitting at the table. I need a knife. Everyone else is getting steak knives and stuff. I just Flip that out and cut my meat with it. Back at home, I have actually got a another pocket knife that I keep at my place, at my you know where I, where I sit and eat, and uh, I use it when I'm when I'm there. But I go to a restaurant, I don't I don't use their knives and whatnot. I, I don't like them. I prefer to eat with this one. Now, this has two other blades. It's got a sheep's foot that I use for, uh, that's the sheep's foot right there. It's, it's sharp on the, on the straight edge right there. It's, um, 
that's my utility blade. Anything from cutting boxes, uh, whittling wood, you know, just anything like that. I got to make a tent stake when I'm camping, it's the sheep's foot. Now, if, uh, if something happens and I've got to like cut into myself, uh, like I get an ingrown toenail, I got to cut the toenail out or something like that. This is a spay blade, all right? And I use that for what I call my field scalpel. It is so sharp. Uh, it's every bit as sharp as a medical scalpel. But, uh, well, for that matter, so is my, uh, so is the sheep's foot.